All right, guys, welcome back. I'd said in my last video Saturday, I, it was the only time I had to get something done. Uh, today, we're going to try to get something done. Uh, that just came today for that. Uh, a couple videos ago, I'd said I was going to try to make a wooden box for the top of this. Um, <laughs> I decided against it. I think somebody had commented that you could probably find a basket uh, cheaper or find a basket on Amazon that would work. And I thought, well, I don't really want to use, use OSB plywood and... I like to use three quarter inch plywood to give it some uh, strength when you're screwing sides together and you need something a little robust. I uh, looked around both farms and uh, no three quarter inch plywood and that'll run you, I don't know, $50 a sheet, $45 a sheet. So anyway, uh, went on Amazon and for the sake of $79.99 with the free shipping, we've got a front rack. Um, <clears throat> I did not look at it yet. It's still in the box. Uh, this shipped from Ontario, Canada, but it is made in China. So it did take a little bit of time to get here. Hopefully it fits. It says universal. Uh, it would be nice if I could just put it on and uh, bolt it fast. So uh, there was hardware included in the picture. So let's. Uh, I'll take this out of the box and see what we got. All right, and of course, my luck with buying stuff. Anybody that's been following my channel long enough, you know that everything I order, there's something wrong with. Uh, some of you guys might be the same way. I dug through this whole box here, and uh, the hardware that they have in the picture is not what they send with. Uh, they only give you two bolts and these little clamps uh, to clamp it fast, uh, so there's no hardware supplied. Maybe it was just my kit. Uh, if you guys need one of these and do order one, <laughs> let me know if uh, yours came with bolts. Mine did not, so uh, no worries. I'll try to scrounge something here in the bolt pile. Um, somebody had asked me uh, why I didn't make, uh, I think it was the fender brackets on the 560, why I didn't just make them. Um, I figure it's a good time to cover this again. Uh, like I said, I am very, very poorly equipped when it comes to metalworking tools um, or supplies. As far as steel, I have no steel here. You guys know that already. There's no scrap pile. There's no scrap bin. Any any projects when I try to make something, I'd have to go to a steel place and buy steel. Um, so drilling uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Six, I'd have to drill 16 holes through, uh, what is, was that, uh, 3 8 steel? Um, <clears throat> anyway, I don't have my drill press anymore. I had two of them at one time. I had a bandsaw. I had all that stuff. I had a lathe. I had a milling machine. All that's gone. It, it's gone, and uh, at the moment, I'm not looking to replace any of that stuff that I used to own. Um, so for me to try to make something, it would take weeks. And with a full-time job, a part-time job, and uh, family and YouTube and the farm, it's just not. It's it's. I said it's a lot easier to just hit uh, or click add to cart uh, for, for the way I'm set up here. I know a lot of farms are well-equipped. They can do a lot of fabricating. I'll do what I can, but uh, I'm not going to make a, a huge project out of things. It's just I just don't have time. So same with this. I probably could have uh, fussed around and made something but the amount of time it was going to take and with the way things are now <laughs> it's just one click away um $79 I think it looks like a pretty good uh, basket for the front of the uh, players uh, ATV so let's see what it's going to take to install this all right so all I've done is basically just set it on the four-wheeler here uh it does fit it does uh I I didn't measure it I just trusted that it was a universal fit I didn't take any type of measurements or anything I just uh ordered it so it does fit on there uh it should work pretty good for what I need it to I definitely need something like this on the front uh, to put tools in or uh, a rock occasionally um any type of stuff I might need uh something breaks down up in the field i can set my air compressor even in here if i have to if i get a flat tire um so that'll work now i just got to figure out how to bolt it fast i think there's two two quarter inch holes in this uh, center track here um and if you take notice actually they're pretty well in line with the two holes here in this Plastic granted it's plastic, but this is really beefy plastic. This isn't thin. This is pretty heavy um, Let me see if I can't get bolts through those holes. I Can get the front of it mounted and then I don't know if we need any more than that You know what? I'll just drill these out to 3 8 that way. They're 3 8 bolts 
but I think with two here on each side, I'm not going to have tons and tons of weight in here. It's just for tools and a rock or two, um, as long as it doesn't slide off. So let me let me get my drill and uh, see if I can't get this installed quick. All right, it's on. Easiest thing I did all day. Uh, I'm going to say two three-eighth bolts here. These are three-eighth. Uh, two of them uh, are enough to hold this. It's it's on there. Uh, we're not rock climbing. We're not going to use this basket to pull things with. Uh, can still get my uh, snowplow winch hooked on. Uh, it does block the front headlight a little bit, I think. Let's see which is the lights here. I'm going to turn the key on. There it is little bit but uh, again you have the bottom lights uh, don't think I'll be chasing deer around anytime soon but possibly um, all right so that'll work uh, as luck would have it the holes lined up perfectly with the holes in this front uh, plastic here um, it does I might want to put a piece of rubber or something there it does kind of push down on this here in the back that it's not quite And you know what I should do? I well, can't. I was going to say, if you could drill through this and put some washers under it to lift it up, but there's no place to drill. That's just mesh there. Uh, what do I do here? I think I'm just going to attach a piece of rubber under there. Keep it from crushing it down. I don't even think it... No. It doesn't even move it that much. It's uh, By the time it flexes down, it's... It sits on this right here. You could, eh, how is this attached? You could put some washers under this to bring it up, but. Eh, I, I think I'm worrying too much about it. Yeah, I, I, I don't plan on selling this, so I don't care if it has a little bit of a, from the vibration, it might rub some of the paint off right there, but I don't, I don't plan to take this off and I don't plan on selling this thing, so. Um, okay, so that should work. We can, we have something now to put tools in or whatever we need to put in. Like I say, I don't keep anything of value in my shop, even with the cameras and stuff that I have up. Uh, I don't want to store valuable tools down here. Uh, I keep those locked away in the house. <laughs> so, um, that should work. Uh, the back rack, I want to keep free because uh, I have a, a spot sprayer to go in there. I think I said that already, and I'm definitely going to be installing that this spring. So that should work. This is a lot more functional. Like I say, if you guys are, have a Polaris and are looking for one, um, I can link it, I guess. But I'm kind of upset that they didn't include the, the bolts. But these bolts were perfect because they're the same exact ones I use for my hay rake, uh, putting the teeth on the hay rake. So I did have some of those around. So that's that. Easy enough. I think it looks all right. I think that'll work. Um, let me just make sure you won't. No, you won't hit it with the <laughs> with the front light when you turn. So yeah, they said universal, and it worked for for a player. So all right, guys, on to the next thing.